Welcome in to Zions Bank Stadium for the boys. 5A Lacrosse State Championship. Familiar territory. The Park City Miners, the third seed in the 5A bracket, taking on the top seeded Olympus Titans. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. Please be joined by Brian Brown, our final lacrosse game of the year. Oh, it's crazy. Should be a good one between this pair of region rivals as we are underway. Park City in the blacks, Olympus in the white and green, and it's the Titans possessing, possessing off the opening faceoff. Brian, this Olympus team, they are loaded with offense and a really dynamic team in Olympus. It fell short last year. They got big hopes here tonight. Yes, they do, and it's a program that came back from a heartbreaking year last year extremely hungry to get to this point you can see early on just how intent they are on attacking this park city defense this is a an olympus team that thrives off of getting into it early and attacking downhill how about the steal still on off racing back this is cole cummings well i'm surprised he actually didn't shoot that on the run he hands it off he'll get the assist instead cole cummings able to find james slendorf for the opening goal we talk about it right there dane Siliano sprinting to try to get back in time. This is what makes this Olympus team really roll. They look for the extra teammate. They look for the extra pass. And that one, the extra pass leads to goal in the back of the net. Well, I really thought, well, we'll get into this. We saw Park City in the semi yesterday. I thought Park City at times too casual in the middle. A great example there. A little soft pass. Olympus picks it off, and they're running, and they convert. And Park City has had struggles and a little bit up and down all year trying to clear the ball. You see that right there. But again, it's just the tempo by Olympus early on trying to get Park City rattled. Well, and we, I mean, we saw it in the semi, right? Olympus took mm -hmm. on Northridge. Northridge was able to really slow this game down for a quarter and a half before Olympus found that rhythm. It almost feels like a matter of time. But we'll see if that will be the case here tonight. We'll talk about leading goal scorers for these respective sides. Uh, Andrew Clayton, 54 goals for Olympus. Gage Trippin has 61. Ethan Hartsfield, 38. Cole Cummings, 29. It's, again, an offense with a lot of scoring potential. And, uh, look, A.J. Silianoff, we saw him in the semi against Brighton. He had a great game. He's going to have to have his best game of the year today. He is, and you can see this. Olympus team is filled with a bunch of crafty shot makers. Gage Trippin, absolute rockets there. Off of his stick. And Park City... It's going to be a grind all night long as you see so many athletes with Olympus. This was ruled out. And I apologize, Charlie Droich has had a great year scoring as well, but I didn't write his goals down. Charlie, I'm sorry. We'll find it at half. We'll get that listed. If Charlie's been paying attention anytime we broadcast his name or broadcast his games, he's heard his name a lot. That is, yeah. Yeah. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll talk Park City a little bit. 18-5 and five on the year, 3-2 and two out of region play, but they're playing really well here in these state playoffs. It's been Chase Beyer, the senior, 61 goals, number 23, led the way. Riley Mulholland's been fantastic this year as well. And, uh, look, that duo, they're going to have to carry a lion's share of the offense here tonight. They are, and again, Beyer beware. Every time Chase is in the lane, he is accurate. Productive. Mulholland working around in the traffic, kind of jarred loose now, ball in the air being fought for. Park City had it, but Olympus comes away with it. Starting goalie today for the Titans will be Caleb Johnson. Olympus winning that back as Johnson retreating back between the pipes. You see Park City's content right now to kind of work the offense, slow things down a little bit. This is a team that once they warm up, they can really catch fire. If you get, back into a back, if you get into a back and forth with Olympus, it could cause problems. Yeah, yeah. And this is, I think, exactly what Park City wants to do, is just be very patient with it, not push. You don't want to let Olympus get out in the run. Yeah. Just had that go by, trying to be tracked down here by Beckett Wolf. You see that ball coming across, chipped up in the air, wide, and Park City, that's still in. How about the save by Wolf? But 
couldn't find his teammate, and it's Olympus on the run. Here comes Samuel Smith. Sam Smith was ready to rocket that one across the valley if necessary, and he does play with that long stick, but also a versatile player as he'll go both on defense and midi position. Oh, nice little wraparound shot and a goal. 2 nothing Olympus on the strike from Ethan Hartsfield. Basically a who's up next for Olympus is Hartsfield. Wraparound goal there. 2 nothing early here for Olympus. And AJ Silianov, who was so great on Wednesday... McHenry and oh, shell shock there. Well, the thing to me that I mean, we talked about it in the semifinal. This Olympus team was so much breadth to their offense, and boy, when they get you sped up and those options get rolling, it's a tough, tough train to stop. Is this one turned over by Park City, and it's it's all about that rhythm. I want to let you know the clock you see on your screen, unofficial at times, will start early, stop it late, that sort of thing. You keep it true up with the game clock here in the stadium. And Olympus bringing it across here with Burbage. Here's Gage Fickle. How about the student section for Park City? You see it there in your window. Got a full section of mine are faithful here. Down the students, Olympus, nice student section as well. This one trickling back, kept in momentarily as Park City will now have the possession. Great job there by number seven, Garrett Hebert. The defense is lodging the ball. This is the kind of plays that Park City needs. Just possessions where Olympus is not sending down that barrage of, of shots. Another turnover here for Park City. It is a two hours delay here today, tonight, Dane, is some weather delays and some other delays throughout the course of the day. And it's, a, it's a long, long day for Park City to be sitting around as they like got here earlier. Just a little bit closer. This one scooped up by there. Garrett, a little bit of room. Hands that off right in front. I couldn't tell if Wolf was going to shoot that or pass that as he had help with Mulholland on the back side. This one just wide. You can see him really trying to work the fake there, drawing the goalie in one direction or the other to open a window. And Johnson's thing very disciplined. Nice work by the goalie there. There's Marslin for Park City. These two teams, region rivals, regular season matchup this year, 15 to 5, the victory for Olympus. Here is Chase Byer. Byer trying to come around there. Good D by Gray Peterson, really pushing him wide. And Olympus tried to come away with it. Peterson may be over pursued as a flag here on the play. And we'll get our first penalty of the contest. That's the tricky part, when you play that kind of aggressive style, what point do you cross that line? How much of a penalty do you draw in that instance? Park City penalties on number eight, Braden Byer. One minute for slash. Braden Byer. Here called for the infraction. Olympus will be on the man advantage. Slash one minute penalty. I thought the penalty was going to be against Olympus, and it was Park City with the slash, and that puts Holy Man up here. Need to start with that full head of steam from up top. As if the offense for Olympus had had a good enough start, an early man up opportunity here. Wound up, oh, defender down. And will regain his footing. Biking a shot goal from straight away. Olympus making it 3-0 as Hartsfield 
with back-to-back -back goals to start it off. You see Hartsville, as soon as he sees the window, rifling that one through it into the back of the net. Three quick ones here for Olympus. Park City is just looking for answers anywhere they can find them in. Do not be looking at those guys in the white jerseys because they came to play tonight. Time out, Park City. What a start from the Titans looking for the state championship. They take an early 3-0 lead here in the first. The lead for Olympus. Face off win. McHenry going down, shut down by Johnson. Boy, Caleb to get low to make that stop. What a save. That's one of the ways that Park City has to attack. It's the Olympus team, and if Caleb Johnson's that much in his bag, it's going to be a really long night for Park City. Boy, and Fire did an impressive job of staying on side there, right at the midline. He's going out of play. A little contact there. Olympus setting up here once again. Lost that. Oh, nice D. Park City had it. Check loose. We gained here by the Bear. Garrett oh, was trying to get that to the middle, but the contact there puts it off the mark. Samuel Smith goes wide. Oh, he kept going right through. Clayton giving him a dap there, yeah. acknowledging that he saw him, but she couldn't get him the rock. Here's Hartsfield. We didn't talk about Ethan Hartsfield much in that semi, but boy, he's had an early impact for Olympus in the championship. He had a huge impact in the game against Corner Canyon that we did earlier in the year, but it's the benefit of having so many players who can contribute in the offensive side. Ethan Hartsfield, boy, from GLE. Tries to get a sneaky one in there. Lined up. Oh, hit the post. So Leonov was tracking that. Couldn't tell if he hit the post or if the ball did. Here comes Reese Smith. Reese plays over. Wallen looking behind. Wolf. Strong D. McGuire. Get around. <laughs> Greg Peterson, just a great job cutting him off there. And he has been stellar all season long. The roster makeup for Olympus is so good. You see all that length on that back line. Middies, very athletic, quick, side to side and vertical. Hard to break down. Final two minutes of the first half. 
Look back, Byer wrapping around, getting one in, Chase Byer able to beat Caleb Johnson for the opening goal for the Miners. I don't know if Chase Byer has x-ray vision or what, but he was able to see right through multiple Olympus defenders and slide that one right across the line outside the outstretched stick of Caleb Johnson. He's getting Park City on the board. Much needed goal. Trying to capitalize on some momentum here. And we've seen Jack McHenry be great in faceoffs all year. Great if Park City could get a win here. That's one of the areas where he felt like Park City could probably get some regular possession. McHenry so good from the spot, but Olympus awarded this. Into the air and will come up. Here's Pippen. Wind up wide there. Olympus chases and wins. You look at that shot and wonder why he's shooting it if he's going wide like that. The bigger concern if you're Park City is how is he getting into that lane? How do we cut that off? Because eventually he will find that net. Backed up here. There's Cummings. Final minute of our opening quarter in the 5A championship. Saw the girls go toe to toe last night, Park City and Olympus. It was Park City with a strong second half, securing the title. A little bit of space there, that deflected. Saw a sacrifice there by Trey Beichner. Boy, sliced right through, and that fell off by Stiliano. Olympus still on it. Final 20 seconds of the frame. Look in that middle, off target, but kept here. Clayton. 10. 10 nine, seconds left. 8. 7. 6. Myers there trying four, to take it away. Three, Out wet two, to the middle. Hartsfield one, can't possess, and that'll do it. First quarter in the books of the 5A state championship. Olympus holding a 3 1 lead. You're watching the 5A state championship on your home for post online postseason championships. KSL Sports. <laughs> Stuart Brown Brown with you. 3-1 Olympus. Boy, Brian Olympus came out flying. Park City's been able to dampen that just a little bit. Slow this game down a touch. Um, your thoughts on what we saw in that first quarter? Yeah, just an onslaught from Olympus early on, trying to overwhelm this Park City squad. But Park City is battle-tested. They've been down this road before. I imagine that they're going to stay in this fight as long as they can. Sam Smith has been very aggressive and a quick timeout here being taken, sensing the pressure. Olympus here going to take the timeout. First of the half, taken by Coach Murray. Welcome back out of the Olympus timeout. Titans possession. I'll tell you who's been flying around is Sam Smith, junior, number five for Olympus. We've seen him make a number of plays here early on. Talented player. Finds his way in the stats sheet on ground balls, all those dirty work stats. Part of the reason why he was an all-region selection, though. I would guess most of Olympus were all-region selection. <laughs> you know, if you had to pick, it was pretty well dominated by a couple of times. Oh. Five. 
Oh, that hits off the pipe on the look from Hartsfield. Silyanov got a piece to deflect it. And then he got a little help from his iron around him. That shot wide and backed up. Good pressure here by the Titans. Pippen. Pippen, little fake there. He'll send up. Running start here for Bryant. Luke. Ooh. Olympus right now peppering Silyanov with shot after shot. Hartsfield. Beichner coming over to slide. Bryant lost it. Scooped up. And Park City coming away with that possession. Hopkins able to track it down. And this game has settled in a little bit, Dane. You see, Olympus is falling in love with trying to do it on their own a little bit here. So Hartsfield just Feeling like you can push that envelope and than that, the Parsi's done a good job of with withstanding the tide, so to speak, and staying in this one and want to steal the goal here. They need to work their offense a little bit more. It's how the girls game started yesterday. Olympus came out kind of bang, bang, bang. And then Park City kind of mm. found their rhythm, slowed it down, got in their sets, and came back to win that one. Kind of having a similar similar start, at least in terms of tempo and success. I think it's worth noting, too, that Park City played in the late game on Wednesday. It was a very, very competitive game right down to the last minute. This is something on. I thought it was a good job getting his stick up. That shot sells wide, but again, a lot of adrenaline going into the night. I'm sure that they may have taken a little bit of time to warm into this one, whereas Olympus did their work early and often in their game. And monitor that as, as the game plays on. The high screens, Hartsfield working to the right. Ethan trying to skip across. And taken away. Park City, that defense starting to move and AJ indeed has stood up to it here early. Gilbert handing off. That one I don't know what that went off of. That went off the pipe or off of AJ. And a crease violation here. Park City will have it. I'll tell you, right now, Park City is withstanding a lot of heat from the Titan offense. Stepping up to the challenge there and finding success now. If they can just get some things going on the offensive side. We talked about it. He just really wants to press them. Gavin Bikner. Kevin Beitner taking this ahead. Well, lost it there on the pressure put on by Sam Smith. Kept here. Byer. Now will allow Park City to make offensive substitutions. Eight minutes to go here in the first half. Oh, good find right in front. Working from X, Beckett Wolf able to hand that off to Samuel Gould, and the freshman pulls Park City back to within one. Boy, Park what City a job by the freshman to follow through on the great feed from Wolf. Stick that one in the back of the net. The big goal for Park City and the Miners striking gold here in the second quarter. Five out of ten, six. <laughs> You're nodding your head on that one. No, I'm just thinking. I mean, it, it's uh, it's kind of like last night. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I don't want to irritate our Olympus fans. <laughs> the wound's already open. Just go ahead and dump the salt in there. It's one where right? it's like 
you mentioned it, right? I mean, kind of starting to find some uh, success. Is Park City coming up with it? Reese Smith, he's got a lane. Smith, boy, just threw that over the goal. Listen, that was a great play by Smith to get the ball up there. You see the sideline is hyped right now with the swim. Smith hustles off with the attaboy from the coach and teammates. He'll be able to catch a breath here, but... Back at hands of Byer. Byer the shot, the goal. We are tied up at three. Park City with three unanswered. Well, that's what happens, Dane, when you have those kinds of break open plays. Gets that defense thinking, and Byer, he's aware of where the net is every time. Sticks that in the back and ties it up. Don't say it. <laughs> I know you want to say it. Nothing. I got nothing. Three apiece. Talk about a game of runs, momentum. Park City on a small run here. Oh boy, that's a nice check put on by Burley. If the jar at loose, Adrian coming away with it. And we got a timeout being taken. We do. Timeout taken by Olympus to keep the possession. Seven minutes to go here in the first half. We're tied up at three in the 5A state championship. What a possession timeout there. And now Olympus out of them here with seven minutes to go in the half. I'm generally not a fan of possession timeouts, but I feel like that one's really important. Park City was starting to get some momentum. Possession. Got it coming off a face-off. Like, that's that's a possession I probably want to keep. If nothing else, just to try to find that confidence, that rhythm for my squad. And it was the last one and a half, though, for the Titans. You know, listen, you just gave up back-to-back -back goals. You need to settle your team down. That's a quality timeout there, if nothing else. Try and get a good set here. Had a few good shots. Look, they, they've had a number of good shots. AJ's had a couple of nice saves. They've had a couple that have been you know, a little off target. But, I mean, they're whizzing them right now. Let's see, he just goes back behind the net, trying to switch things up. Oh, trying to make a nice cut there. Good idea. Love the idea. But Siljanov, aware of it, able to take it away. I think that was Luke Bryant on the shot. Trying to use that athleticism and the length from Bryant to get a shot on goal. And AJ settling in here. Sometimes that all it takes is just making a couple plays. Marsland, oh. a path. Mm. Boy, Gray Peterson, what a great job to recover yeah. him off there. He yeah. had nothing but yellow brick road to that goal. That had uh-oh written all over it. Beckett, how about the yellow goals here at Zions Bank, huh? Mm -hmm. Change up from yeah. there. Boy, they lost Samuel Gould coming through the middle there. Backed up here. Samuel Gould is not one that we talk about a lot, but already made an imprint on this game with a goal. Fearless for the freshman out there. Beckett, boy, he got some room. Beckett Wolf has given Park City the lead. He's howling there with his teammates as that's a... Highlight-worthy goal from Beckett Wolf. You had to wonder when we were going to hear from him, Dane. He's yeah. such a critical part of this team. So much experience. What a goal for the go-ahead. He's really more a guy that makes his transactions in dimes, right? A lot of assists. Not one of the primary goal scorers. He's got that ability. But, I mean, he's heavily more involved in finding teammates, initiating the offense. But you had that since the moment he realized, I got a step here right in front of the goal. Not shying away from the opportunity to take a shot and score. Fire working around. Boy, contact that right of the crease. And the ball is, okay, they, they do call crease violation. I was curious if they were going to say he was pushed or, if, you know, how that would shake out. But they do call the violation. Olympus here will have it. Johnson bending a little bit. I have to wonder if maybe he caught a little bit of that contact too. He does look a little ginger running up the field there. Park City. 
Johnson was able to quickly retreat, so I think he's probably feeling okay, at least in game mode, if nothing else. There's McGuire. And a point. Paul is actually Wolf has it on the far side. Coming off the screen, Wolf, the shot and the save made by Johnson. That's an important save for the junior goalie. Since how Park City was starting to get things rolling. For Caleb to make that save. Anticipation. Such a critical component when you're playing goalie there. Oh, boy, hard hit. Yeah, there's the flag. Park City's got to possess and giving it right back. And now the whistle here. Boy, that hard check right in the middle of the field as we await the call. And I feel the pain there for. Park City number 13, Dylan McGuire. And sometimes when you're the bigger guy in the field, and it's so hard to resist on those. Park City penalty number 13, Dylan McGuire. Put your team in a tough spot here. I'm actually cold oh, slashing on McGuire. Yeah. One minute, man down for Park City. Right now, Olympus up. Adrian looked at it on the sideline, and that was that was a hard, hard hit. Looks to be okay, but the trainer's working on him. Olympus setting up this man up. Opportunity. Deflected, captured hit by Bryant. Shot. Backed up. It's just not clicking right now for Olympus. Everything was going their direction early in the game. And Park City's done a good job of really forcing them to slow it down. Trying to play out a rhythm. Ryan, extra pass now, worked behind goal. Sent up, Hartsfield with the rip. Silyanov with the save. Another thing too, Dane. Olympus has become a little too reliant on shooting from the perimeter. Park City comes away with it. Here's Wolf. And into a double team, stood straight up, lost possession. Oh, hacks, my goodness, this game. Huh, Brian? <laughs> wow, bodies all over the turf as Olympus coming away with it. Trip Hopkins, you madman, all over the place. Now it's a break for Olympus. Elliot Peterson. Uh -oh. This is nuts. <laughs> there is contact all over. Both sidelines are jumping around. And a failure here will give it to Park City. And talk about it every single game, Dane. What are you willing to do to get the little things done? You see Park City is fired up because they're doing everything right now. Let's try and get this game going. Time out, Park City is... Oh boy, we are amped up at Zions Bank Stadium in the 5A state championship. Welcome back, 2.35 to go, first half. Game two of Brian Brown. My, my goodness, man. Uh, physicality is really uh, taking a couple steps up these last couple of minutes. Park City has possession. I'll borrow, borrow a line from Scott Van Pelt. It's late, but I'm not tired because the action on the field has me. What up, Dane? Great, great competitive atmosphere here. Great showing by both fan bases. Great night for lacrosse. Where else would you rather be? You hear your family. That's right. Park City starting from X right in front. Ooh, that fended off by Johnson. That was a great setup there for the Miners. <laughs> if you're Olympus, unfortunately, some of your family over there from Park City is trying to be a little loudmouth guest. A change of momentum here for the Miners. Very similar to the game we saw against for Brighton, where they just came out early and tried to just topple this Park City squad. 
able to withstand that charge and held on to win. This is not a team that's afraid to fight back in Park City. They've done it on multiple occasions against multiple teams. And they fought back in this one after it looked like Olympus was just going to steamroll them in this state championship game. The Miners have completely been able to take the momentum, the rhythm, the tempo, everything. Ooh. Oh, and Chase Byer. <laughs> Boy, he is. he goes from a calm, calm man to an absolute fastball, beating Johnson. It's 5-3. to three. What a ripper into the net. Jars the goal loose. Stun on him there, Chase. Great shot. That is master of deception work by Chase Byer. Just blowing the defense to sleep. But what a what vision to see the opening there. And rip that so quick. He's a senior, multi-year starter. It's almost like he's done this before. It's something like that, right? <laughs> Young kid plays big in big time moments. 90 seconds left. Face off win. Punch back. Heady play there by Holtby to keep this for Olympus. That's quite a contest between Holtby and Jack. And McHenry's done a great job. Smith. Olympus getting set up here again. Holby. And it comes on Hartsfield. Update you, Ben Burbage has been the player they've been looking at on the sideline. He's not appearing to be done for the Titans. They've been working an arm there. Now they put in a sling, a junior defenseman for the Titans. That is a big time loss. Burbage is a very impactful player. He's hitting defense. You see, Park City has just become an absolute stonewall. Yeah. We mentioned it the girls game yesterday. It was ten, nine, little kimchi eight, in seven, goal. Today it's been Silianov as five, they heave up forward. That three, deflected back in the final seconds. Three seconds left. Park City might get one more look here. Leading five to three. Two, they can look backside. One, Couldn't get it on frame. Minutes. And that will do it for the first half. What a closeout for the Miners. They'll head to the locker room with a lead. 5-3. Park City leads Olympus. You're watching the 5A State Championship on KSL Sports. Park City. What a closeout. Shut down Olympus that entire second quarter. Brian, I don't know if Olympus has gone a quarter without scoring this year. It's incredible, Dane, because this is such a potent, high-powered offense. And if they have, it was probably incidental, right? Or, or out of, like, mercy or something, right? Mm -hmm. What a defensive display. This Olympus offense, it, it came bursting at the seams as this game started. But since then, Park City has been able to contain A.J. Silianoff. We said he had, he'd have to play his best game. He has. He's been lights out for Park City between the pipes. He has. And listen, he that early onslaught of goals from Olympus is tough for anyone to withstand. But you just love the approach and the mentality to stay in the fight. When we talk about keep cutting that cheese, right, Dane? Yep. And uh, eventually you'll have a bag full at your disposal, and that's really where he's been. He's in his bag all game long. You can just eat and eat until you feel sick. I want to thank our friends from Cash Valley hooking us up with some good old Gossner curd. A great 4A championship before this one, and man, what a 5A championship this has been. Two of the best teams in the state going toe-to-toe -to -toe once again, as they did last year, and as the girls have last year and this year. What a job the lacrosse programs at these respective schools. You see that double team come, and boy, Fippen fighting it off, working over with Bryant. Luke. The confidence is such a boost. Actually, be able to get a few stops and deflect. Olympus a few times now they feel so confident in their defense and look at the way it's overpowering some of these Olympus players. Gavin Beichner was able to win that. Of course, Beichner had the the Hail Mary pass that led to the 
put away goal against Brighton. Boy, what a moment that was. Talking to people when they were like, I've never seen that. <laughs> like, what a play. Again, contact in the middle, and, and you see flags coming in, and, and no doubt, I think we saw contact start to amplify itself in that second quarter, and I think probably, you know, officials want to make sure we, we contain some of this energy and emotion and physicality. Yeah, and the biggest part about that is you have to watch contact with the head or neck area, right? And that's exactly the signal that we get from the official there. Non-releasable. And, and you know, want to give thanks. We had an official come up between games and say, hey, just so you know, that signal, illegal body check. You're right. Indicate illegal body check to the head. Two-minute non-releasable. Here is Olympus's chance to get that rhythm and that flow back that they've been so accustomed to all season long. But want to thank our official friends for coming up and helping us out here. We love that kind of feedback. It makes us better. Thank you so much to our official crews for helping us out with that. And done a great job really all week in state tournaments as uh, we cap off the season here tonight. Bounce shot there, just bounces wide, backed up here. It's a man down defense. Those kinds of shots, more than acceptable, especially when you can back that. Well, almost hiding a player behind the net. Right? right in front. And yeah, the hit late. That defense tried to collapse down to just let the shot, but it was well after. It was away. Olympus scoring on the man up. And they're back to within one. Pain is temporary. Glory is forever. Plenty of glory on that goal for Olympus. Tie this one up. Excuse me. Pull it to within one. There, you get that one erased. I'm not sure exactly what the explanation is there. It looked like it was a late check after the ball yeah, in the net. It looked like after the goal. So, I'm, I'm, you know what? We've got contact with officials. We'll ask them later. That's Don't right. have answers for you now, but next year we will. <laughs> Five four, the the uh, lead for uh, Park City. And it was Andrew Clayton, the junior, with the goal for the Titans. As this face off, boy, and McHenry incidentally kicking that and then flipped back before being corralled here by Bikeman. Whoa. Blocked out of the air. And then that stick gets chucked. All, all over as that yeah, buyer gets checked into the defensive zone, causing the offside, and they're going to get the whistle here for the push. Man. Just an incredible play by Wesson Holpe to deflect that shot and stop the break and lead to the chaos, and Park City able to maintain, but higher. Had to work through three Olympus players there in the middle. So this is a great opportunity for Park City to kill some clock with the lead. The man down here, mm -hmm. right? You want to get back to even strength. No rush. About, about another minute or so. Maybe I think another 40 seconds. About. Park City did get a goal on the man up, which, hey, right now, if you're Park City, you'll take that. Mm -hmm. But, or if you're Olympus, you'll take that. But if you're Park City... You get an opportunity here to just squash any of that. Again, rhythm, tempo, freestyle play that Olympus loves to get going. There's McGuire. Clock ticking away here on the penalty. Park City back to equal strength. Back to even strength. Byer just coming on. Stepping in, Braden. Back to X. There's Marsland. Coming around, playing wide, shot, goal. Park City with the answer. This one from Riley Mulholland, his first of the game. Well, if it was an immaculate reception, Mulholland was on the opposite end for the game winner. Continues streak of great goals there. Mark City.
What a performance here. They take the lead again. Two goals up. Take the lead two, two goals up on Olympus. And talk about mentality, Dane. The mentality of Park City, man down, non-releasable, two minutes. You end up getting a goal out of it. Just tremendous. Face-off win for McHenry. He's got an opportunity and backed up here. We mentioned it early. Thought face-off might be that opportunity for Park City in this game. McHenry is making his presence known with each face-off. Making his impact known. He's there, but he's taking advantage of it. Norman felt, right? Yes. Just putting that defense in a tough spot. And as you're in retreat, trying to chase, not able to deflect as much. A little bit of room. Wolf. Oh, he was trying to hand one off there to Gould. Cheer by Chase. Fire sending high. It's Brady. You see Olympus with some physicality here back behind the net and that given away by Park City that pressure of Olympus doing what it was intended to do get the possession back great job there Standing tall, needed to make something happen. And Olympus will take over with some momentum behind them. Marsfield with it here, had someone tell us at half, hey, I didn't call his name to someone. He's been hurt and able to come on here in the championship. Already has a couple goals. Fippen. You see those slides. There's not a lot of room on those angles for Park City. Everything has been just like this. Lateral passing and long shots. Huge thanks to Principal Jen Christensen for the update. So great to see the administrators when they yeah. not, not just care about the team, but follow along and know more about it than we do sometimes. Right, right. You know, my wife is a teacher, and uh, when you see administrators and teachers who, who care about the kids that much, right, that's awesome. Yeah. Just like, you know, Chris, I'm sure, was feeling the love from his favorite teacher growing up on Wednesday. I certainly hope so. That one just a touch behind. Olympus will have it back. A couple of turnovers here from Park City, giving extra possessions to the Titans. And the thing is, is, they've actually had quite a bit of possession in this game. Huge credit to that Park City defense. Yeah. MJ Siliano has made some tremendous saves tonight. Droich. Do we give you Droich's goal count? It's 48. We did look that up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Couldn't remember. There's Park City. All love, Charlie. Sling that over. I can have it jar loose. Seen a couple of times where Olympus has been able to do that. I was surprised that Olympus didn't want to push it there. Again, you're even. The defense is just starting to get adjusted. Yeah. I just want to attack there. Here's Gilbert. I think the season low in goals for Olympus, I think, is 10 to Brighton. I think we lost that 11 10 or 10 9. 10-9. Was it 10-9? Nice little 
piece of stick work there by Reese Smith, jarring that loose. He's got it now. Smith coming ahead. Got the outlet. Trying to work that up. Oh, how about Reese still getting back on that? Thrown to the middle, intended there for Trey Beitner. They come away with it is Hartsfield. Ethan working around the little defensive swim move. Hartsfield. That sailing his penalty flags in here on the play. And now more coming in as boy. Extra action here after. I didn't see that. I was busy trying to work the clock, but well, this one. Olympus training staff coming out here to take a look. We've got an injury timeout here. We're going to step aside. As Olympus will have a man advantage when we come back. Welcome back. Three to play. Ethan Hartsfield, the injured player. Able to get up, walk it off. Good to see we talk about the physicality that we've seen and mentioned penalty flags on the play as we get the call here in the middle. Olympus understandably frustrated. Raise the bar is the Utah High School Activities Association sportsmanship program, which embraces the values of personal responsibility, honesty, Another illegal integrity, check. leadership, a little illegal body support. check. They call the two minutes non-releasable and an unsportsmanlike. The dignity they earn while positively supporting your team. Sportsmanship matters. So we've got a, a couple of penalties here. Will sort out. Looked like couldn't tell if there was unsportsmanlike like on both sides or if it was just an additional one on Park City. We got lost in some of the indications there, the signals. Two Park City players in the box. It doesn't look like any in Olympus. So Park City gonna go two man down here. Most importantly, Hartsfield was able to walk off. Park City penalties. Number twelve, and, uh, Beitner. Boy, that's, seven, that's a big one. He's got a pair of goals today. We just talked about one playing injured, has not been not injured. The other is hope that he'll be okay. Uh, based on the signals that we saw, I think something had to do with the late hit to the head after the check had already come. And watching the training staff check on the Hartsfield. Were... And these are non releasable. So you've got a big advantage here. Does Olympus see if they can take advantage? Wind up wide. Emotional game, emotional play there. If you're Olympus, stay within the system. Right? Broken up, ground ball here. Olympus trying to come away with that. That chipped up. And over and back, Olympus turns it over. Check loose is a broken stick left on the turf. Park City retreating back as Olympus setting up the offense here once again. And now we've got a timeout taken by Olympus, and I think a good one here for Coach Merrill. Sensing this, that opportunity. Hope the man down for Park City, that chance to get back in it. Timeout, Olympus. 2.24 to go here in our show. Welcome back. Out of the Olympus timeout. It'll be Olympus possession. They'll have possession. Two man advantage. About a minute 20 left. On the advantage here for Olympus, I believe. He's working it around. He's actually having to cover a lot of ground, shot, and scored. Boy, so hard with four defenders. And now that outside shot, Brian has been so far away, able to creep up more, and Luke Bryant able to score it for the Titans. Boy, what a job by Luke Bryant there, seeing where the stick is, firing that one low. He's got so much power. And a powerful goal for the Titans. 
So we needed to get something there. Get some momentum going. Inject some energy back into this group. Still have an advantage. McHenry and Holtby on the drop. That's right. They got about another minute. Man advantage due to the Titans. Two man advantage. Sorry. Another minute. This is where McHenry would be so big if he could get a face-off win, and he does. Now can Park City hold it? And we've got, I think, a Park City timeout taken as that check was coming. Yes, we do. Timeout, Park City. Timeout, Park they'll City. have possession when we come back. playing through but has been injured missed a lot of games not played uh, significant minutes tonight has been out there and uh, has multiple minutes has multiple goals he was a player hurt he's back on the sideline helmet on stick in hand he's ready to go and there was a big cheer for Ethan Hartsfield both by his teammates and by fans as he was getting ready to uh, come back to that bench um, uh, Park City able to maintain possession here they are two men down. Olympus, you've got to get that ball back. Beyer taking a shot and scoring. Chase Beyer scoring two men down for Park City. Park City goal, number 23. Wow, what a goal by Chase Beyer. Fearless. He doesn't care about numbers. He cares about goals. It's a big goal there for Park City. Get that lead back up to two. Wow, just incredible. I, I'm just Wait, like, there's a moment where I thought he was going to shoot. I was like, well, no, he's not going to do that. He's two man down. And then he just waits another two seconds and fires it on frame and pushes the lead back for Park City. It's a win again. Everything going in favor of the Mormons right now. Yeah, here. yep. There's McHenry. It's kind of reminiscent. It, it was like American Fork last year. Bazant won just about every faceoff. You just knew they were going to start with possession. They forced you to get a defensive stop before you could even get into your offense. The young players watching at home. It's a great way to get on the field. If yes. You win faceoffs. You will always see time. Fire looking against Gray Peterson. <clears throat> Park City's first play. Right in front, Park City scoring. Boy, they spread it out. And it is Riley Mulholland scoring his second of the night. Great job by Mulholland to lull the defender in, then cut to the net. Collects the feed. He collects the debt. So he gets another goal for Park City here. Wow. So uh, Park City still has one man in the box. So is there such a thing as a well anyway. Still have one man in the box. So one man down is Park City. One of those non-releasables is done. So I don't know if one was a five minute or if it was a, a double. I don't know if they have doubles. Anyway, still one man down are the miners. So they've scored two man down and they've scored one man down. It has Park City. Looking to attack again here. I think it's just Opportunity slipping through their fingers. Fought off as we're inside of a minute left.
10, 9, Final eight, seconds of the seven, third. Six, Chase. Five, four, Flag three, coming up. Buyer. That helmet flying off. As one second left on the clock, we get a stoppage here for enforcement of the penalty. See Park City just feeding off the emotion. And by the way, the box is now empty for Park City, so they must have had a, a two minute and a one minute, both non releasable. They had two two minutes and one one minute, non releasable. It's now clear, but now Park City is going to go man up, I believe. Slash the call there, so one minute man Bonus up here for Park City. Ray Peterson slash for and here minute. they'll just uh, obviously hold the possession. They'll start the fourth with it, and a 59 second man up chance for the Miners. Secondary signal, they're not sure. It's a three minute total penalty. There was also a two minute cross check. Oh. And there was also a two minute cross check, so it's going to be a longer penalty. Yeah, three minute penalty here coming up. Man up for Park City to start the fourth. They lead Olympus. You're watching the 5A state championship on your home for online championships, kslsports.com. Welcome back. Start of the fourth quarter. Park City leading Olympus 8 to 5. So just to clarify, had a two minute. Non-releasable and a one-minute uh, cross-check or slash. Mm -hmm. Two-minute check, one-minute slash. Three minutes of uh, extra man advantage here for Park City. Two minutes guaranteed, one pending uh, any potential scores. They'll start with it here to start the fourth. Three-goal lead as Olympus. Boy, Tim, they've had opportunities. They just haven't been able to capitalize on them. They're going to need that defense to stand up tall here in this fourth and final quarter. Yeah, this is an opportunity to really demonstrate. Uh, it's Riley Mulholland scoring his third of the game, and it is nine to five. I was about to say, a chance to demonstrate how badly you want it. But I tell you what, Riley Mulholland showing there, he wants it. He has been phenomenal tonight. What a rocket there, finds that. Far corner, and you see this, this team just shell shocked right now. He's, Caleb Johnson just can't figure out what's going on. We said at the start it would be Mulholland and Bayer that would have to shoulder the majority of the offense. They've got seven goals combined for Park City. But maybe the most impressive thing has been this Park City defense and AJ Silianoff, who made early saves and now. McHenry and company just won't give Olympus the possession. Another face-off win, and Park City again coming ahead. Shot, that bounced high, backed up here by Bayer. See Olympus just chasing at whatever they can try to get going and aren't able to make up any ground here. Park City maintaining possession here, up 9-5. to five in the fourth quarter, just a complete and total turnaround from what we saw at the start of the game. Dave. Yeah, I mean, it was bang, bang, bang for Olympus. The moment Park City had that first goal, I said, boy, this is kind of how the girls game started, and it's played out that way. You see if the Olympus boys can turn it around here in these final 10-plus minutes. Byer. Looking to Mulholland. Nice pass over. That fought off by Johnson. Well, that one high in the air. Caught out of the air by McHenry and helps keep this momentarily. Oh, there's a flag coming in. Right in front of the Park City student section. The officials making the call and Another penalty here to be enforced against Olympus. It's half 
have to be in control of those emotions, yep. Dane. It's such an important and, part, and you're playing with it all game long, right? And it's <laughs> it's a little bit to say, it's so hard to do. I mean, we talk about the physicality in this, right? Olympus lost Burbage to injury in the first half. They saw Hartsfield get hurt. He's you know, back on the bench and you know with his team. But you talk about just the physicality of what we've seen tonight. And yeah, you're right. Those moments, like you're out there and you're wanting to. Let your moment be heard, right? And it's so hard to do that when you're trying to claw back against the team. It's been able to get this kind of tempo and find this success. as a rip there, and Johnson, oh, a nice job there by Field. Had the initial save, and then we'll catch that. And now here comes Olympus looking for a little bit of speed through the middle. Not whacked back, and just like, oh, never mind. Still trying to possess it cleanly, and finally Marsland will. Just a little dangerous territory here, chasing the ball wide out. You do not have numbers if you're on defense. A lot of open yeah. space here for Park City. Wow, uh, like this two man down here. Trying to keep chasing. And look at Chase, just bring that all the way back to the middle. This is where they've spread Olympus out at times today. They can really do it here. No man advantage back here. Right in front, it's Mulholland again. Fourth goal for Riley Mulholland. They're all in the second half as Park City has now doubled up Olympus. We talked about it. You can't open up that much room if you're Olympus. Riley Mulholland will find the space. And he will also find the back of the net. Big time goal there for Park City. Miners pulling away. So that goal now releases the one minute slash. So one man out of the box here for Olympus. In fact, I think they're both out of the box for Olympus if uh, my eyes are treating me right. So I think Olympus back to full strength. Yes. Two goals for Park City. Hold there to get it to the Titans. Finally, an opportunity for Olympus to attack downfield. See Ethan Hartsfield back in the game. Great to see that. Yes. He's a senior. You talk about seniors and championship games and knowing last game of career. Certainly never want to put yourself at risk, but a lot of personnel looked at him. You can see family around him. I, I know there was a lot of conversation around that. And, so, yeah, he's good to go, and good to see the senior coming out here. He's been battling all year and wants to finish this year out with his team in this championship. Still holding on hope with that bounce shot corralled by AJ. Silianoff is, boy, didn't allow a gold in the second and uh, has been clean here in the fourth as well. Try to be flipped in. Could not. Mulholland quick to start it. And now a flag here being thrown there. And you see Beckett Wolf just recognizing we're up. Got a flag. That can come out. Wolf gets the angle, feeds it in front, and that a little bit of a scoot shot there just rolled past as we get the enforcement here. Olympus penalty number 14, Elliot Peterson, 30 seconds for delay of game. Hmm. Play the call there. Just a 30 second technical.
Dyer sending out. Back with Marslin, Byer, extra pass. Ooh, just a touch behind there. And Olympus gets the stop that they so desperately needed. Absolutely, Dan. You see Park City trying to go back to the well there. Just not able to complete the processes. That checked loose. Wolf has it. Marsland. It's 15-5 in the regular season. Olympus defeated Park City. They were undefeated until they ran up against Brighton. They've been on a tear ever since. But boy, tonight, it's been a different story. Mulholland wrapping around wide and backed up. So Park City really trying to test this Olympus defense. Almost bay them in and being overly aggressive. They know they have the advantage. You know, because it's all about seeing discipline. Another goal scored here by Park City. This one by Braden Beyer, and it's 11 5 Miners. Miners goal. Talk about staying disciplined. Braden Beyer, that much space, and he's able to whip that one down low into the back of the net. Just an incredible job by Park City of sticking with the plan. Seeing just how much the emotion can factor into things here. How you handle the emotion can turn you into a positive if you're a Miners fan right now watching at home. This has got to be exciting. Another face-off win. Boy, it looked like Reese Smith was maybe sizing up a shot there. He took that off a little early. Big check there on Johnson. Caleb working through a round, taking more contact as we've got a whistle here. A timeout taken there by Olympus. Coach timeout Merrill trying to save his goalie. Timeout Olympus, 6.15 to go here in regulation. It's all Park City. Six minutes away from crowning a 5A state champion. It will be Olympus possession. Olympus will have it. It's been a well of a championship game. Olympus came out, scored the first couple of goals. Since that time, Silianoff has just been a tank in cage. Is that one wide backed up here? He's been a force to be reckoned with. Uh, I was telling someone I thought the semifinal against Brighton was the best game I had seen him play. That's now the second best game I've seen him play, Brian. Yeah, he's been terrific tonight. Just absolutely stymied this Olympus attack and it's like they don't know what to do. He's made a couple really good stops. Some in the second. More here in the second half. And Olympus has thrown some shots wide. But there's another example. I mean, you get essentially a one-timer look for Charlie Droich. Young man nearing 50 goals. And Siljanov able to make a save and does there again. What a great save there, Dane. One-on-one. -on -one. Olympus right now is pressing so hard to try and get past that. And Sinanoff is just making all the right choices. Olympus has only scored two goals mm. since about the midway point of the first quarter. That shot sails. And that's where, for me, I'm just stunned. You know, like, could I see Park City slowing down? You betcha. Could I see Olympus not scoring? more than two goals for over 25 minutes? No. Like, that that just is crazy to me. Bryant. Great job there by Eichner. Yeah. Yeah. 
confidence right now that Park City is playing with. Oh, splitting the D, winding up. Silly on off again. Oh, an incredible save there. And just Charlie George trying to do everything he can. Not even frosted mini wheat to make you play this mm. well. Reference from earlier this week. That's right. Park City back up with it. I'll tell you, Park City might want to consider painting their goals yellow if uh, AJ's going to play this well. Yeah, I don't Man. know if I'll get away with scheduling 9 o'clock starts for the rest of their <laughs> season next year, but the Miners have just been phenomenal. He's just a junior. He's got one more year. Good mix of young and old on this Park City team. Seen a bunch of guys step up and play really well tonight. I think it was 3 nothing. It was certainly 2 nothing. I think it was 3 nothing. Okay, Olympus. Here's Mulholland. Takes the check. Continues on. That one lost. You see Johnson getting engaged in the defense. He had come out there. Boy, you see Hartsfield taking it. Able to get this ahead. Here come the Titans. Oh, and lost it at the last moment. Fippen trying to stay on it. He's got it. But Gage has it checks loose. Here's a shot by George. And the goal. Olympus finally able to beat Silian off the goal being scored by Charlie George. I see a flag there on the play as well, but Charlie Droich just willing himself to get that one in the back of the net. Absolutely needed by Olympus. A little momentum going forward, a little more energy. Finally break down that wall. There's a push, so that will not be enforced due to the goal. 11-6, 3.15 to go. Olympus can do this. Yes. With how 100%. quick they can score, game's not over, but face-offs become critical at this juncture for the Titans. And they get a win. Here comes Holtby, worked up. Opposite side, bounce shot, and that bounced high, backed up by Olympus. The energy, the intensity, it's, it's back. back for Olympus. <laughs> That's the important part about yep. it. I think we've been a little surprised to see them play so disconnected and great to see them back. The bounce had been gone, right? Mm -hmm. But there's a little bounce here. That shot just wide as a flag coming in here. And you could see Fitton be like, hey, and indeed, we're going to get a call. Cross check, and so one minute man advantage for Olympus. Park City penalty number seven, Garrett Hebert. One minute for cross checking. Olympus will be on man advantage. This is a must score mm -hmm. for the Titans. Yeah, and there's no messing around if you're Olympus. You've got to execute, be quick with it, be decisive. Trying to get a goal. There's not time to. Giving that back. No, that's kept. I thought Droich had it. Boy, that's a good fake because that shot was just wide. From Fippen. Come around, Clayton. Still on it here. Working up. Hartsfield couldn't catch it cleanly. Fippen holds it. Jump wide. A much better attack there by Fippen. It's still just a little bit wide, but that's okay. You're getting closer, right? Step by step. The problem is that you're fighting against the clock now if you're Olympus. Got Fippen. Go. Oh, Silyanov with the save. That's a good look. Very nice. Yeah, it is, too. Sent up. Bryant winds up, and that's saved by Silyanov. He's given chase. And backed up here. 2.09 to go. Right in front. AJ again. 
That's Charlie George right in front of the cage. As we're inside of two to go. Battle. Tried to throw it ahead. No one there for Olympus. Park City back on it. Byer looking ahead. And Caleb Johnson coming up, looking aggressive. Trying to get this back up for Olympus. They can't connect. Picked up here by Crosby. And whistles here. I think a Park City timeout going to be given. 90 seconds left. Park City a minute and a half away from back-to-back -back state championships. Welcome back, Park City, to start with it. Man, I tell you, this, I'm just, I'm still so stunned. What a game plan from the Miners fed right in front, and mm. you see even just the uh, the understanding there that hey, a goal is maybe not the best thing as they try to just take more time off. You see open cage here. And Park City content to just work it. Final minute in the 5A championship. The Park City girls won it last night over Olympus. Olympus was undefeated and went down at the hands of the Lady Miners and Ava Kimchi, who was fantastic between the pipes. And tonight, Olympus looking for revenge from a regular season loss. And looking for back-to-back -back state titles. It's just a game of keep away. Byer escaping the double team around it. Park City, 18 and 5, 3 and 2 in region is a turnover there with 17 seconds to go. Flipped up for Droich. Trying to get nine, their final eight, countdown on. Seven, six, Picked five, up here by Charlie. Four, Droich trying to get three, a final shot. Two, Won't one, get it away. Two, the two, Park three. City Miners defend and repeat. They are your 5A state champions. Park City 11. As a reminder, fans, please stay off the field. We'll bring you the trophy celebration here in just about a minute once the team shake hands. Absolutely stunning win for the Park City Miners. As you see them celebrate their man of the hour. EJ Silyanov was phenomenal tonight, Dane. It's an Olympus team that had gone so long. Rolling over every opponent. Heartbreaking way to lose this game, but Park City, what an accomplishment for those miners. Olympus was 17 and 1. Their only loss was to Brighton. I think most people Fans, thought you need to they would be the favorites. The but Park City had other intentions. Despite falling down early. Exit the field. Man, as what a job as coming possible. back and taking care of Park C of Olympus. Park City back to back in 5A. Talk about players that have been multi-year contributors. Bayer, Mulholland, Silianoff, McHenry, Wolf. We've called their names for years. And in 2023, so many seniors amongst that group. They do it again. Certainly heartbreak for Olympus. Felt this last year. The intention, the desire, the focus is always on getting back here and getting the job done. Park City fans, you need to exit the field. We will step aside as we prepare for handshakes and trophy presentations. The Park City Miners capturing 5A. We'll be back with trophy presentations. 5A State Championship after this. <laughs>
welcome back, handshakes. And always a tough moment. You talk about the physicality and the intensity of this game. These teams coming together, two familiar teams. What a game from Park City. Brian, your final thoughts on a player of the game? Like you said, Dane, just a really intense game, hard fought. You see both sides of the challenge of being a competitor, right? One team has to lose. And Park City side, so much joy. And Olympus, you see the body language, just so heartbroken. And just almost like they couldn't see this happening, didn't see this coming. And, you know, Park City just, once they grabbed a hold of that momentum, they just carried it throughout the course of the game. Big reason for that, Dane, was the play of A.J. Silyanov, the goalie. He was fantastic tonight, and this is a Olympus attack that we have not really see be stymied the way they were tonight, almost all season long. For that reason, A.J., congrats, kudos. Cheese curds on us, buddy. You're the player of the game. We were talking before the game, Brian. I told you, I think the number for Park City, they got to get to 17 if they want to win it. <laughs> I was 10 high. they got to get to 7. Give a lot of credit to A.J. He's the guy that uh, stymied a lot of those Olympus shots. Second quarter, second half, A.J. Silianoff was nearly unpenetrable. And look, Riley Mulholland, four goals. Chase Byer had four goals as well. They carried the lion's share. Park City gets the job done another year where the miners finish the on top we so take you to the field here john oglesby to award the olympus titans the second place their second place trophy olympus high school i know it's not a popular trophy to receive There's nothing to to be ashamed of olympus i know they're not going to feel great tonight, understandably so. Losses are hard. Championship losses are harder. Great year for Coach Merrill and his Titans. The final state championship trophy is presented to Park City High School. And your state champions, the Park City Miners. Back to back, 5A state champions. Thank you for your attendance and continued support of high school activities. Congratulations thank to Park City. And please drive home safely. We want to thank you for joining us. KSL Sports Rewind's coverage of the lacrosse state playoffs. It's been a great couple of weeks. Appreciate everyone of UHSAA, Zions Bank, Westminster College. Everyone helping Park to City, make this possible as Park City caps off an unbelievable week. Six state champions crowned boys and girls, 4A, 5A, 6A. I want to thank Tino Psyche, Brian Brown for joining us. And thank you for being with us all year long for lacrosse right here on KSL Sports Rewind. Enjoy your summer. Be safe. And we'll see you next spring when we pick it back up again. For everyone here at the Rewind Sports Network, thanks for joining us. And congratulations to the Park City Miners on a 5A state championship. Good night, everybody.